Hi, my name is Todd Michael with Vermeer Corporation, and uh, I'd like to um, talk about a new product that we brought to IQ 2017, um, the 4055DR. It's our uh, new dual rod machine intended for drilling rock. Um, so we're going to want to talk about a few of the real key features. First of all, I want to mention that this machine is built off a common platform. For it's very similar to our 2440 Series 3 and our 4055 Series 3. It's really built off of those platforms, and so very reliable machines. Um, you know, built upon that platform for for great reliability and ease of use. So one of the things I'd like to share is. We always kind of like to talk about our common controls. The machine's going to operate very much like a, a dirt machine. Um, unlike our original 3650DR that was kind of complicated for rod exchange, um, we have, we've taken that complexity out, reduced the steps to about half what it took to do that. And really, a, if you have a dirt drill operator, they can operate this machine and be pretty comfortable in operating it in a, in a really short time, like 10, 15 minutes of rod exchange and you have that down. Um, so really ease of rod connection. But, but the main thing on this machine we really want to talk about is versatility. It is a, uh, as we say, a dual rod machine, but we will be able to drill dirt, loamy soils, um, as it was a, a dirt machine, as if it were a dirt machine. There are some limitations in rod bending, but it's still capable of doing that type of work. Um, the, uh, the next thing is, is we're able to do broken formation, um, cobble, rock, um, from soft rock to on up into harder rock. Um, the intent was is this is not just a pilot bore machine. This is a machine that's capable of doing pilot bores in fiber work, or you're capable of taking that back and doing, uh, doing pullback. So if you want to do an 8 or 10 inch product and pull a uh, 12, 14, 16 inch um, hole opener, this machine has the capacity to do that. Um, so some of the things that makes it really versatile um, is what we've done with our drill rod. So um, we wanted to make sure we had really um, good flow, fluid capacity through the drill rod, not just in, not just in uh, mud. Yes, mud when you're running roller cones or PVC type bits on the on the RH15 rock head, but also if you want to put an air hammer on for drilling that hard rock, we're capable of getting good airflow down there to supply to the hammer. So, um, you know, we've done some testing with Mincon on that and and capable of really drilling some pretty hard rock, fairly productive, and uh, and been out to distances that uh, we, we just didn't see air restriction and performance of the hammer dropping off. So uh, that's one of the real key feature that we want to talk to on that. Um, with this machine we also have a new rock head, um, the RH-15. It's a completely redesigned drill head um, capable of uh, you know, 1,500 foot-pounds of torque, which is what the drill will produce on its inner rod. Um, you know, so it's pretty versatile. So as you can see it here with a, with a drag style PDC bit on, um, a roller cone sitting on the ground beside it, you're capable of doing that or taking those bits off and putting an air hammer right on the end of it. You can also run standard dirt tube on this machine, so I don't want to make sure I mention that. You can take the dual rod head off and run standard dirt tube. A couple other things that we want to talk about is a, the rod makeup and breakout. So we're we're about 30% faster than our previous DR, and uh, and some of the things that let's just step on up and take a picture. Uh, one of the things that uh, we really wanted to give was still the automated stop points that you have for um, standard machines for breaking out rod, but we also wanted to give the operator the ability to see down in the vise and see the joint, um, so they were really comfortable through the make and break up is. We do carry 500 feet of rod on this machine, so unlike the rock drills in the marketplace that we will be competing with, um, the rod capacity is much higher, so it limits the amount of labor it has to have to exchange rod um, and add rod to the box, and we feel that's a real, a real advantage to customers that are out there drilling five, 500 plus feet. You know, even at 600 feet, now we're limiting, you only have to add 10 rod instead of having to add an entirely new rod box to get out that same distance.
So um, unlike other kind of dual rod machines in this bath, you know, as I mentioned, this isn't this isn't a just a pilot bore machine. Some in some cases, those machines have pulled in rods from other machines so they could do the whole opening. Um, one of the things, as I mentioned earlier, we we wanted to make sure you could pull hole openers and reamers back, and so our outer rod torque is is 5,500 foot pounds, and our flu onboard fluid capacity of 70 gallon a minute, which you can get down the rod. Um, with, with very little restriction, um, allowing you to have really good performance and pulling hole openers as well. There again, a lot of the same features that we've always offered. Um, auto greasers, the auto stops on the rod breakout, makeout, our very common rod loader design that's been very reliable um, and, and well accepted in the industry. And um, I guess the last thing I'd like to really mention is, is availability of this machine will be 